shit. Now we've only got these. Oh, oh, oh that was nice. Two for one. Single player. But, uh, Welcome back to another Embrace Destiny video. Kaz PhD here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are continuing our Crucible challenge with the Triple Sniper loadout. Uh, you knew it was coming. I definitely knew it was coming. As soon as I proposed this challenge, I thought, you know, somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna ask me to run with three sniper rifles. So I, I prepared for it. Uh, today's challenge from It's Flames asked me to use Revoker, Beloved, Darcy, and Top Tree Sentinel. So let's get into it. Revoker, of course, you know it, you love it. It's the pinnacle uh, crucible weapon from Season 7. Its main perk is Reversal of Fortune, so missed shots return to the magazine after a short period of time. That was essential for someone like me who's not very much of a sniper. We're going to talk about that. Came fully masterworked with handling, and between all the different mods, I thought maybe about using quick access sling, but I ended up going with targeting adjuster uh, because, I, again, I need all the help I can get. We're going to speak faster than the video because we have things to talk about. Uh, the second weapon was Beloved. I actually got a really good roll on it. I'm not the king of knowing what god rolls, especially for sniper rifles, but even I can recognize that the one I got is pretty sweet. You're going to see it coming up on screen in a few moments. It's got... Uh, snapshot sights, it's got moving target, uh, it's, it's nice, it's snappy. I actually used it to earn Revoker, uh, so I've been quite comfortable with it, but of course, I put the thing away two weeks ago, and I just lost all of those skills, you know? It's like, a la it's like learning a language. As soon as you stop, you completely forget. Um, so again, I threw targeting adjuster on there for some help. The exotic I went with was Darcy. Um, that one is if you, the, the main perk is if you're aiming down sights at an enemy, you, you know, get more information about them, but you also get improved precision damage uh, and some stability, I believe, or aim assist. Now, something I didn't actually successfully test is can this thing, can Darcy take out a super? Like if a, if a striker titan is running straight at you like a train, can you aim down sights and get extra precision damage and take them out? And if you can't do that now, do you think we'll be able to do that in October? Because uh, supers are going to get less, uh, I believe they're going to get less um, health or armor, uh, you know, overshield. I don't know, it's interesting. I didn't successfully make it happen, but I like Darcy. Um, and uh, it's, it's always a pretty stable weapon. You get a lot of ammo for it too when you pick up, uh, you know, heavy ammo. You get like six shots or something. So... Because I need all the help I can get, again, we're speaking faster than the video, I went with every single thing in my uh, armor inventory that I could to help me out. I've got double scavenger perks, I've got enhanced aim on my on my helmet, which I got from the Iron Banner a couple, you know, two Iron Banners ago, or one, I don't know. Um, it's got enhanced sniper rifle targeting, and I've got unflinching sniper rifle aim on my chest piece. So, some preface here. I am absolutely not a sniper. I guarantee you that if you put me in the crucible right now with no weapons, you tell me not to use a single weapon at all, I will do better. No weapons and no grenade. I bet you I will do better than if I use sniper rifles. It's just, it's a skill that I've acquired over the use of using, uh, earning revoker and uh, finishing the catalyst for Darcy, but it's a skill I, I, put down I regular I don't use it a lot uh, also flames here suggested I use top tree sentinel which I know is just a bit of trolling right because war to dawn and and that whole that whole subclass tree is all about punching you know you, you punch to get an overshield and overshield gives you a bit of health you don't want to be in an area where you're punching if you're running around with a, with a sniper rifle or three so anyway, that was fun. That was fun. There wasn't a lot of synergy there, but it was a lot of fun to use. So, like I said, my entire my entire experience with sniping in Destiny, Destiny 1 and 2, includes basically firing a sniper rifle like 10 times, playing a hunter in Destiny 1, earning the Revoker, uh, and finishing the Darcy uh, Catalyst. That's it. It's not usually a loadout I like to use. It's just not n native to my playstyle. But... I really liked the Revoker uh, quest. I liked how it was very unpunishing. I felt like I was always making progress, even one shot at a time, one you know game at a time. So that was nice. And the, you know the weapons I have are really good. They have really good rolls. So I 
I really pushed myself. This challenge um, taught me a lot of the usual things, you know, positioning, team shots. Uh, you really got to be careful because you run out of ammo super quickly. Even with Reversal of Fortune, you only start with one shot for each gun. So you kind of got to follow your team around, pick up some ammo, uh, and get your positioning going. The thing with snipers, though, is I feel like they have a very, very high skill ceiling, which is great. Like, you can get in a kind of semi-comfortable spot, let's say 40% through the whole skill ceiling, where you're like, well, I get a kill every now and again, or I clean it up with a body shot, or whatever. But there's so many other things. There's jump snipes, there's slide snipes, there's hip fire snipes, there's, you know, body shot kill, stuff like that. And I feel like with other things, like if I had gone bottom tree, uh, sunbreaker, or middle tree striker, I could use perks that would increase my weapon damage, allowing me to get kills with body shots, but that wasn't what I was asked. So in the end, really fun. Uh, I played for like four hours and only got like five minutes of clips, but you know, that's the way it goes. If you're running with one of these, definitely run with some scavenger mods and just take your time with it and enjoy it. So if you'd like to make a recommendation, feel free to drop it in the comments below or follow the directions in the description. Thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye now.